Now, I suggest all the students to make a list of the expressions for energy of the particle executing SHM. These are very important expressions. The expressions are for potential energy and for kinetic energy along with the total energy of the particle. The potential energy of the particle is given by u is equal to half k y square. We know y is equal to a sin omega t. Therefore, u is given by u is equal to half k y square. We know that k is equal to m omega square. You must remember this expression k is equal to m omega square. Therefore, potential energy is equal to half m omega square into y square and in place of y obviously you can put a sin omega t. Therefore, the potential energy expression is u is equal to half m omega square into a square sin square omega t. When it comes to kinetic energy obviously the expression is k is equal to half m v square and you know that v is equal to omega into root of a square minus y square. Therefore, k is equal to half into m omega square into a square minus y square. Finally, you can also express kinetic energy in terms of trigonometric function that is k is equal to half m omega square into a square cos square omega t. If you take the sum of kinetic and potential energies, you will get total energy that is e is equal to half into m omega square a square. From this expression, it is evident that the energy of the particle, I mean the total energy of the particle executing SHM is independent of its displacement or its position from the main position. So, throughout its journey, throughout the journey of the simple pendulum, the energy of the body of the bob remains constant. It is independent of y, the displacement. Energy is half m omega square a square. It is constant throughout its journey. Let us have a look at the problem. Two simple harmonic motions are represented by y1 is equal to 5 into sin 2 pi t plus root 3 cos 2 pi t and y2 is equal to 5 sin 2 pi t plus pi by 4. The ratio of their amplitudes is options a 1 is to 1, b 2 is to 1, c 1 is to 3 and d root 3 is to 1. Dear students, we need to know the displacement equation of the particles executing SHM. It is given by y is equal to a sin omega t plus phi. Let us have a look at the two displacement equations. Are they in the standard form? The second equation is obviously in the standard form which is a sin omega t plus phi. But look at the first problem. It is not in the standard form but still most of the students tend to feel that this is in place of or sorry these two are in place of amplitudes and they write the ratio as 1 is to 1 which is wrong because the first equation is not in the standard form. So, you have to get this into the standard form a sin of omega t plus phi. So, how do I write my first equation omega y1 is equal to see I have uh, two sin 2 pi t plus root 3 into cos 2 pi t. This can be converted into the form of sin of a plus b. Sin of a plus b requires sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. However, root 3 always attracts a by 2 factor. Therefore, I can write a by 2 in denominator which means I have to multiply the whole equation and divide by 2. So, that gives me, look at this, I am multiplying and dividing this by 2 which gives me 10 in the numerator, 10 outside the bracket and inside the bracket I have, I can write it as half into sin 2 pi t plus root 3 by 2 cos 2 pi t. So, this is 10 into, half should be expressed in terms of cos. So, cos pi by 3 into sin 2 pi t plus root 3 by 2 should be expressed in terms of sin because already there is cos term. So, sin pi by 3 into cos 2 pi t. Now, look at this form 
this is in the form of sin A cos B plus cos A sin B which is 10 into sin of 2 pi t plus pi by 3. Now this is in the standard form. So y1 is brought to the standard form, y2 is already in the standard form, y2 is equal to phi sin 2 pi t plus pi by 4. So both the equations are in the standard form, therefore the amplitude of the first equation is 10 whereas for the second amplitude is 5, the ratio a1 by a2 is 2 is to 1. Therefore option B is correct answer. Now let us take up a beautiful problem based on graph dear students. It says that the xt graph of a particle undergoing SHM is shown below. The acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 4 by 3 second is options. All the four options are in centimeter per second square a root 3 by 30 a root 3 pi square by 32 b minus pi square by 32 c pi square by 32 and d minus root 3 pi square by 32. Dear students before solving this let us have a look at the graph. When time t is 4 by 3 that is the displacement of the particle will be in the upper half itself. What I am trying to say is at this time the displacement of the particle is positive and we know the relation between acceleration and displacement. Acceleration is always opposite to displacement which means acceleration should be negative. By looking at the options, options A and C can be directly eliminated. Now to find the correct option out of B and D, let us take the expression for acceleration which is minus omega square displacement. Here it is x. But what is omega? Omega is 2 pi by t. By looking at the graph, time is given to be 8. The value of t is 8 from the graph. Okay. Omega is 2 pi by t. This is minus 2 pi by t whole square into what is x? x is displacement equation. x is equal to a sin omega t. How do you get the expression for x? Just by looking at the graph again. This graph is x is equal to a sin omega t graph. It is a sin graph. Therefore, in place of x, I will straight away write it as a sin omega t. But let me substitute the values now. This is minus 4 pi square by, in place of t, I will write 8. Square is 64 times, what is a? The amplitude is 1 sin what is omega? Again 2 pi by t, 2 pi by t is 8 into small t is given to be 4 by 3. Now this is pi square by 16 minus pi square by 16 times sin of. This is uh, 8 pi by 8, I will get pi by 3. Sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. So this will be root 3 by 2. So, the answer is minus pi square into root 3 divided by 32 that is acceleration and option D is the correct answer. Now let us take up one more problem based on graphs. The displacement time graph of a particle executing SHM is as shown in the figure. The corresponding force time graph is, there are four options given, all the four are graphs. Now dear students, this problem is based on a concept where using the given graph, we are supposed to write the corresponding equation. And using that equation, we are supposed to get what we require, that is our required equation. And by looking at that required equation, you can draw the required graph. I repeat, 
from graph to equation and then from equation to equation finally from that equation to graph this is the solution here which graph is given displacement time graph is given what do we need force time graphs from this displacement graph let me draw let me write the displacement equation since it is simple sin curve i'll write the displacement equation as y is equal to a sin omega t now what do i want i want force directly i don't have an expression for force that's why i'll take the expression for acceleration if this is displacement then what is acceleration directly we can write the expression for acceleration as minus omega square y so from this i'll write the expression for f is f is equal to m a minus m omega square y what is y a sin omega t so f is equal to minus m omega square into a sin omega t so if i ask you to plot the graph of f versus t how should it look like f is proportional to minus sin omega t so since f is proportional to minus sin omega t the graph is negative sin minus sin out of four options minus sin graph is option c but there is again a shortcut here to solve this problem what is that shortcut you need to know that the acceleration of a body executing shm is always opposite to displacement let's have a look at the displacement see during the first half of its period the displacement is positive and what should be its acceleration should be negative which means force should be negative i repeat when displacement is positive force should be negative so there is only one graph which correctly depicts negative force when displacement is positive that is your option c which is minus sign look at this when this is positive this is negative and further later when this is negative this is positive so to get this graph you need not do so much if you know the relation between acceleration and displacement you can directly come to a conclusion that c is the correct answer let's have a look at the next problem dear students a particle performing shm has time period 2 pi by root 3 and path length 4 cm the displacement from the mean position at which acceleration is equal to velocity is options a 0 b 0.5 cm c 1 cm and d 1.5 cm dear students we know that at mean position the velocity of the particle executing shm is maximum whereas acceleration is minimum as the particle moves from mean position to extreme position velocity keeps on decreasing whereas acceleration keeps on increasing obviously you can find a point on its path where the magnitude of velocity is equal to magnitude of acceleration and in this problem we are supposed to find the location of that point where velocity is equal to acceleration to solve this we are given with two data number 1 its time period that is t is equal to 2 pi by omega that is 2 pi by root 3 so i got omega as root 3 next what is path length it is the distance between the two extremes so if the distance between two extremes is 4 cm then what is amplitude half of the path length therefore amplitude is 4 by 2 amplitude is 2 cm now i have to, i have to find the location where velocity is equal to acceleration let me make use of the expressions of velocity and acceleration so acceleration is omega square y velocity is omega into root of a square minus y square dear students of course there is a negative sign here but we are equating only the magnitudes so negative sign only indicates the direction of acceleration now one omega gets cancelled 
omega y is equal to root of a square minus y square we know omega which is root 3 into y is equal to a square minus y square under root now I will square on the both the sides now I will get uh, 3 y square is equal to a square minus y square so a square is equal to 4 y square which means a is equal to 2 y I am supposed to find out that y to get y I am given with the value of a we are given with the value of a which is 2 centimeter so y is equal to a by 2 that is 2 by 2 therefore y is equal to 1 centimeter see option c is the correct answer